Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm making one of those really fun one-page mini um, albums, and I thought I would go ahead and show you how to do it. So I know we've done this, but it's been a while. So you want a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You're going to go ahead and fold it in half. Okay. And then you're going to measure and pull out your scoreboard. You can pull out your scoreboard and measure. And what I did is I know that I want this side to come up. So I came over and I knew I wanted it around two. Two and a quarter could have possibly given me some of this. So I went with just the two inch. And so I scored it on the underside so that it will flip up like this. So you want to decide what side is going to be your, um, what side you want to be the back and what side is going to be your pocket, the front of your pocket. So um, I also do flips in mine, so you will see some of the pieces throughout here. So, um, so you fold it in half, you score it, score it, fold it, and you score here and turn and score here. And that way um, you're okay if your paper is uh, a little off. <laughs> If you just score here and then you come over here, it's just easier. Anyway, um, probably doesn't make any difference. Okay, so then you're going to go ahead and you're going to fold it this way. Okay, and then open it. And you're going to fold it and fold it and score it. And then you'll open it up and you have all these... Thing. So you're you're gonna have this and this and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut up this line to the last the last um, intersection. So that intersection right there, I'm gonna cut up to that intersection. Okay, and um, there's several different ways and different kinds of books out there that you can. Uh, make this is the one that I happen to be making today. So then what I do is I fold it down here and I start from the center and pull it back. Okay? And I take it and I start from the center and I pull it back. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have this iron thing happening in the front. And then I'm going to have just roses in the back. So, one of the things that I might consider doing because of that is taking this front one that I usually cut. I usually cut this first one so that it folds down. But I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Well, it'd be better if I opened it up to cut it off. Okay, so I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut the whole fold off. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so we're like this. So we have this great little book. So I'm going to make it... So you're going to open up and see this. Then you're going to see the um the grate and the grate and then here is um these roses and i'm going to go ahead and cut this so that it comes it might i might cut it all the way off but right now it's going to come down because what we're going to have is right here we're going to have a side pocket Okay, we're going to have this. I'm going to fix it so that I have a side pocket there. Now, I'm going to come and look at these. I really like that and how light it is. I 
The thing is, is since we've cut this off, it doesn't have to go the same way as the other. It can actually go like this. Okay. And we could make it a double pocket. It could become a card. I kind of like that. Okay, so now the other thing is I like to do a cross pocket. So do I want to cross it here? And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cross it there. And I do all these cuts beforehand because one of them that I made, I didn't do my cuts beforehand and it was hard to do the cuts, okay? So then what we've got is we have an open page, a pocket, a pocket, an open page, a corner page, a pocket, a pocket, and then I think we'll do another open page. Because what I'm putting in here this time are actually pictures. Of vintage ladies from my um, vintage ladies digital kit they're Victorian Edwardian all different kinds of from different time periods so I'm just calling them vintage Okay, so now I want to close up the backs. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use my ATG gun and the glue. Okay. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like going, oh my gosh, am I in the right? Am I doing the right thing here? Okay. So the ATG should help hold it together. Because you know how hard of a time I have with it. <laughs> okay, so now this one is going to have a side pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and... There is a way to make the squares, um, <laughs> but I couldn't remember it by heart. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to go back and find my video. So <laughs> uh, I, I went with what, what I could remember by heart because this paper is so pretty that it would have been beautiful to, to have either side showing look at that isn't the back the back and the front the front's going to be plain but look at how pretty the back is oh i just think it's so pretty okay so and i'm leaving the top open gives us another place that we can put something because i'm going to decorate it and then i go back and i'll add um I add items for goodies that um, the recipient can go ahead and use in her paper crafting. 
So this is how you put the book together. Okay. And then you can go back and reinforce the spine. Ugh. It's a good thing this glue cleans up so nicely. Okay, so there is our little booklet. Now we need to go in and I'm going to glue the pockets down and I'm going to put the glue on the pocket side. Okay, and I'm sorry, just listen. My husband just walked by. Outside, I heard him outside the door. I was like, is he coming in here? <laughs> He's doing stuff, so I didn't even tell him I was going to go film. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and come to the inside of this one as well. Okay, so there's that, let that dry. While it is drying, we'll come over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to get a bunch of videos made so that I can clean <laughs> my space. It's, uh, it's, it's starting to get too close. Okay, so the, the ones that fall down, I like to go ahead and round the corners. So that one happened to be sticking out, so I'll have to find the other one, but that one was sticking out. So again, we're just going to go ahead and roll the excess off. Okay, so that's there, and that is there. Okay, this goes like this. And you can go ahead and punch a hole just so that you know that it's a pocket. You don't have to do that. It's kind of fun. Okay, come down. This one we're just going to go right on the fold. Hold it down. I love these, and um, you know, then you can just make little mats. You can make little tags and little mats. You can put it right on top. Um, so, like I said, we're going to use the um, vintage ladies kit, and I printed both sets of the black penciled photographs. I printed them on this paper. It's like parchment paper. And then I, and I printed some songs also. Um, and I printed them at five by seven. So, um, and then they came out to be this, this is the size. That, that I got by printing them five by seven. Okay. Okay. So now, did we have another? We have that one. Oh, we cut the other one off. Okay. Okay. So we want to choose something for the cover. And we can go ahead and... You know, she's totally different than anybody else that I have. So one of the things that you can do is, you know, we can go ahead and make like a photo corner behind her. Um, the other thing is to use some book paper. And layer it behind her and 
can even do it at an angle. So go ahead and Okay, so there we go. We have that. And then we come in and I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. It just gives us a layer. And guess what? We use some book paper. Hooray. Okay. And then we have the book paper shows up a little bit behind her, which is kind of cool. Okay, so there's, there's that. Now we have a couple of different things that we can do. Because I'm looking at the, the fact that there's like no color here. We could set her in like this. I don't want to use any more of the book paper than what I pulled out. So this is real life. This is <laughs> this is how it really happens. Okay, so another thing that can be done is two photo corners. Two corners like this. And the way that I would get that is to just go like this. Okay. You find the one that you like the best. And I like that. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Is this a choice? Because I like, I like the light. Oh well, I like, I get, we'll be doing the dark. This one here. So I'm going to do this. So put this one down and leave it open. That way we can try both. We can see if we like it um, inside or outside. And then this one I'm going to put. Because I'm not going to put it over the top of her head. Put it over the top of her, her dress, her gown. Okay. So we can do this. Or we can do this. Are you out there telling me what to do? I kind of like this. If I can get it down further.
I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay. Okay, the flower song. Of course it can go. So now we are going to I think in this one with the round. I'm looking around. Like, do I have anything cool? I have squares. The last one I did was squares. Look at that. Okay. Go ahead, move this out of the way so I don't get it glued. Okay, I'm gonna put her on here. First objective, get her on there. Okay. Second objective. Kind of roughly measure. in. Don't like that. Don't like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put it down. My idea is that I'm going to collage down at the bottom of it. Um, I'll just have to find something to collage with down there. It ain't going to be that. <laughs> Don't like it. Okay. Oh, did you see that? She moved. Okay, 
So, I think with these squares, I can go ahead and we'll go ahead and make another framed one. Probably should have brought in a third color paper of some kind. There we go. Go all the way to the edges. That does give us a nice little thing there. Now I had a couple that um, I thought we could just go ahead and hopefully fit 